So you wanna start a snow removal business, but you're strapped for cash. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what I would do if I were starting my snow removal business over from zero dollars, starting from scratch, what I would do, and how I would grow to the point where I'm at now, where I'm able to make a full-time living in the wintertime doing snow removal. Check it out. So the snow removal business is a great business because it's very low barrier to entry, which means basically anybody can start it. Um, you don't need any special skills, training, licenses, nothing like that, and you don't need a lot of money to start off. So when I started my business, I started for about $3,000. I started with a cheap truck, a shovel, and some flyers, and that's all I needed to get started. Um, but in this example today, I'm going to talk about what I would do if I were starting over from $0. So let's go ahead and get into step number one. So there's two or three things that you're gonna need to get started in this business. Number one, a shovel. Number two, you're gonna need internet access um, and an email address. And number three, time. That's the most important thing with this business is time. You need to be available whenever it snows to go out there and work. So number three time. So you're gonna need a shovel, you're gonna need internet access, and you're gonna need time. Um, so for a shovel, what I would do is I would go out there and I would either borrow a shovel from a friend or a family member or a neighbor, or I would borrow the money to go ahead and buy a shovel, or I would just work some odd jobs and make enough money to go out and buy myself a shovel. Um, so that's number one, you're going to need a shovel. So real quick here, I just wanted to add, if I can't find somebody to borrow a shovel from and I can't find the $25, $30 to go buy a shovel, I'm going to borrow the shovel from the customer because more than likely the customer already has a shovel. So that's what I'm going to do. No excuses here. So now that I have my shovel, I'm going to move on to step two, which is get you some customers. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go out to the neighborhood where I plan on working and I'm going to go door to door and I'm going to tell people that if they need their show, uh, snow shoveled to give me a call. So that's step number two. Go out door to door. Find yourself some customers. So you got your shovel and maybe you got yourself a couple customers. So step three is next time there's a snowfall. I'm going to go out to that neighborhood and I'm going to go door to door and I'm going to try to sell jobs right on the spot. I'm going to go to somebody's door and be like, hey, look, I can shovel your driveway for 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 dollars, whatever it is, depending on how much snow has come down. And I'm going to try to sell as many jobs as I can during that snowfall and make as much money as I can in one day. So I'm going to go out all day long door to door in that neighborhood and try to pick up as many one time snow shoveling jobs as I possibly can and make as much money as I possibly can in one day. So step four, you've gone out there, you've done some snow shoveling, and you've made yourself a couple bucks. So let's say you've made $100 going out there cleaning up snow that one day with your shovel. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go online to either Canva or Vistaprints, and I'm going to design myself a flyer, real basic, snow removal, my phone number, my email address. It's going to say free estimates on there, and I'm going to go ahead and print those either off of Vista Prints or off of Canva or I'm going to go down to my local print shop and I'm going to get as many printed as I can for that hundred dollars that I made shoveling snow. Then I'm then going to take those flyers and hand them out in the neighborhood where I plan on working. So step number five, I've got my shovel and I've got my flyers, I've handed them out and now I'm going to get myself some regular customers. So I hand out the flyers, I get a phone call from a customer, I go out there to give them an estimate, and what I'm going to want to do now is turn that customer into a regular reoccurring client. Meaning, every time it snows now, I'm going to go shovel their snow. No questions asked. They don't call me, nothing like that. I just show up, take care of their snow, and I charge them for that. Now I'm going to either charge them a flat seasonal rate, which is what I would recommend, but since you're first starting off, you're going to want to do it however you can. So maybe you charge them per snowfall, whatever you do. You just want to make sure that this is a regular, reoccurring customer that you show up to each and every snowfall. So now I have some regular customers. I got my shovel, and I'm going to go out on my off days, and I'm going to try to sell door to door. I'm going to continue to tell people give me a call if you, if the snow is falling and you need somebody to shovel it and the next thing I'm going to do is on the very next snowfall I'm going to take care of all my regular customers I'm going to take care of any customers that call and I'm going to go door to door after that and try to sell as many one-time jobs as I possibly can you can try to turn them into reoccurring business of course I encourage that but for the time being you're just trying to make some cash so I would just go out sell door-to-door one-time jobs and just try to make as much money as you possibly can 
So from here, it's basically rinse and repeat. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna shovel the snow, I'm gonna take that money I make from shoveling snow, I'm gonna put it into flyers, I'm gonna print out the flyers, hand them out, do estimates and try to pick up more regular customers. That's the whole goal here, is to get a list of regular clients that you take care of each and every snowfall. That is the goal. So now I've got a bunch of regular customers. Every time it snows, I go out there and I take care of them. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is upgrade from my shovel to a snow thrower. So you're not gonna to wanna to buy a snow blower, you're gonna to wanna to buy a snow thrower like the one right here. This is what I use. Um, this is a great thing because you can easily pick it up, load it, move it around, they're easy to use. This is what you're gonna to wanna to go with, a snow thrower, not a snow blower. So that would be the next step. Get yourself a snow thrower. Once you have the snow thrower, you should be able to handle more clients. So you can go out there and start picking up more clients again and make your route even bigger because now you're doing the jobs faster with your snow thrower. So now I have my snow shovel, I have my snow thrower, and I have my regular reoccurring clients. And best of all, now I have some cash flow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that cash flow and buy myself a truck. So what that's gonna allow me to do is handle more customers because now I'm driving between um, properties instead of walking. And so now I'm able to get those properties that I'm taking care of done quicker, which means that now I can expand my road. I can pick up even more clients. I can uh, now go to other neighborhoods I couldn't have done before. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a truck and I'm gonna once again, try to max out my road. Now at this point, you may wanna go ahead and get yourself a website. You can easily um, design your own website. Um, you're gonna to wanna to get on Google and start getting Google reviews from your customers. This is gonna help you pick up more customers much more easier. So you're gonna to wanna to get a truck, website, um, Google My Business, um, and then you're gonna to want to expand your, um, your client list to the point where you're completely overwhelmed and you're full up. At this point, you are where I am right now. You're making a living shoveling snow, and that is it. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If not, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Peace.